This is a part-time gamer back once again with a video game review. Today it's Weapon Lord from the Super NES. This came out in 1995, late into the Super NES's life cycle, and I'd say it suffered from its release schedule. Let's talk about the game a bit. You got a story mode where seven different fighters go ahead and fight for their, you know, lives or whatever. Basically the story is a uh, bad guy bad guy kicks a bunch of ass. Some kids are supposed to be born on a day and supposed to kill him and instead of actually going and killing him, he's just like, yeah, fine, they can come get me, I don't care. There's an arcade mode, which is just for, you know, versus mode, single player. There's a versus mode where you can fight an opponent. Options, you have the <laughs> the option of four different difficulty levels. I'm going to choose, uh, choose the easiest, which is really not that easy at all. Alright, let's go in the arcade mode and see what happens. This is a fighting game, so there's not really too much to talk about here. It's one-on-one -on -one fighting. There's only seven characters, six of which can be played in the story mode, one with the cheat. You got Kor, who's a big barbarian dude, another barbarian ass. This guy with the mask. This dude right here, Zorn. Another chick, Gentai. Devado, who's obviously not a good guy. And Zarek, which is a bad guy overall. I will be Kor, why not? So they pick a place for you and you fight. You fight Tabata. The control scheme's kind of weird. First of all, that's the beginning of the battle right there. No round one fight. That's it. Get my ass kicked. Ah, God. What? Come on. This is the easiest mode. Alright, there we go. Just pressing buttons at this point. I'm not quite sure the controls, to be honest. They're not so intuitive. I do know that each player has like 12, 10 or 12. What the hell was that? 10 or 12 special moves, one of which was right there, I believe. I'm about to die. There I go. Just kind of a lot compared to other games. That should just teabag me. All right, kick butt this time. There is a combo system, I think. You can parry and duck, parry. It's a, you know, it's kind of a deep weapon-based game. So I read. I have not figured it out yet at all. I'm just kind of pressing buttons and hoping it works. I know he's got some special moves at some point, but I have yet to figure them out. I've heard it's kind of an ass backwards system of fighting. Decided to be very unstreet fighting. You press a button and then do some control moves, but I've yet to find that worked that worked too well. And I'm dead. There are fatalities. Um, I believe she just cut out some of my intestines or something. It actually is a teen rated game, not M. Possibly because it's so damn hard to do any fatalities. <laughs> I really suspect that might be the issue. But, well, that was that. I died. Let's uh, try story mode on easy. It's got some epic text. We'll be Bane, big dude with the hammer. Get some uh, text going on. Tells you the story. There is kind of a the fatality system is not dip, not kind of weird. You kind of combo into it. I think I have yet to figure it out. Obviously, but oh, it's Devada again. Great. He's just gonna kick my ass. You can chip away weapons and cut away hair and clothes. Actually. Well, I hit her once. Damn it. Why is this game so hard? Maybe I just suck. Alright, here goes.
Oh, I hit her. Look at that. I hit her. And I'm dead. And that's it. Bitch. Well, that's basically a weapon lord. It's kind of a sort of a cult hit, not really too big of a game. It came out right before PS1 came out, so you can see people weren't too interested in it at that point. They kind of rushed it to development, so it suffered in some ways from that. Would I recommend it? Maybe if you're a hardcore fighting game fan or really into weapon-based fighters, but other than that, not so much. You can probably pick it up at a game store for about eight bucks. Well, that's all the time we have today. Tune in next time for another part-time game review.